Just a quick disclaimer, this video includes a tutorial in how to draw section. If you're not interested in that, and you just want to see me draw, uh, feel free to skip four minutes ahead. That's where the actual drawing starts. That being said, let's get on with the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to draw an ostrich. So now you can see that I've uh, actually darkened the areas around here and um, basically kind of made it pop out a bit more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my pink color. Now this pink color is going to be used just on the edge, the same as the blue except next to the highlights and it's going to make it look kind of pop art-ish. You'll see what I mean. black pencil crayon like this I'm doing very quick short streaks outward like this with the black pencil crayon like so all right so now I can come in with my blue just like the last one except this one's gonna have a bit less than the other one just at the bottom and kind of brush it out a bit like that now I can come in with my pink do this at the top a little bit of gray light gray just add a tiny bit to the top to make it look softer and that's basically it if you want it to be longer of course you can make it overlap in different ways I actually here's a secret that I use not too much of a secret actually but it's a trick if you want to make it look like your hairs are overlapping you can use an eraser or in my case I have an electric eraser so it's much easier and just erase a little bit of it kind of like that and you can see it did make a mark and it makes it look like there is a different layer of hair almost on top of it so I'll just finish this So I'm going to just roughly sketch this out, but as long as you have your sketch and you have an eye shape, you can fill this in relatively easily. Just all flat black. Fill the whole thing in like this. You can come in and do a pupil. Now this is going to be darker. With your brown, and just come in and do little circles. And the way it overlaps, it'll have the effect that the eye was brown to start off with. Just a little bit though. Then you can come in with your highlight or whatever else you're using to make it look like it's shiny.